What did the one pandemic say to the other pandemic? I don't know. Group hug. Hi guys and welcome back to the internet. Okay, why don't you tell your quarantine joke? Okay, I was gonna tell my joke. I was just gonna say hi guys, as we're in quarantine, it's time to spill some quarantine. Don't worry, it's not about the lesbian YouTubers, it's about us. This time it's not about them. Have you noticed that I'm not wearing any jewellery? I need to set no, this I up. No, I need to no, set I it up. No, I just perfectly <laughs> set it up. Have you noticed that I'm not wearing any jewellery? I have noticed, Rosie. What's that about? As we're in quarantine, I decided I needed a project because we spent one day with the duvet downstairs yeah. watching apocalypse videos. Post-apocalyptic movies. movies. Yeah, right. It was so, comforting. And we did it for like one day and we had loads of crap. And then the next day I was like, Ugh, I need to get up and do something. Yeah. So I was like, let's clean out our garage. Yeah. That's a project. So I spent all day doing it. It was a great day. You're my project. Oh, what does that mean? I can't tell if it's complimentary or offensive. Is it a do-it-yourself project? It certainly is. I don't understand. Neither do I. What did the one pandemic say to the other pandemic? Uh. So basically we were clearing out the garage and we came across some old items of Rosie's jewellery collection. Were, they were wrapped up. I'd never unwrapped them from when we moved house. I don't think I've ever been so shocked as to when I saw her old necklaces and what she thought used to be acceptable to wear. You borrowed some of them. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite <laughs> really. I think it's, I think it's quite simplistic. Check I actually it on. think it's understated. If anything, don't please don't put it on. Put it on what I like is that I saw this in a shop and I thought, yes. What does it remind this you? This reminds of? me of a Buffy episode when they accidentally summoned some kind of evil spirit because they they uncovered this like piece of Old jewelry. jewelry. Yeah. So basically, I think that you should burn it. I'm wear it. Though, Rosie. Good for it you. It brings as me well. power. <laughs> good, no, no, seriously, good for you because you were like, you know what? I need a statement piece. What? screams confidence. What I like about my fashion sense over the years is that I don't care what other people think. Do you know what I did last night? I just searched the word pink in Topshop and then put everything in my basket. Do you and, know what, Rosie? Uh, I can't yeah. talk because at least you had or have a fashion sense. I don't. Oh, do you think I've got sense? No. Oh. I just wear my own merch all day, every day, oh, and that's do. what I do. And sometimes people come around the house and go, oh, that's got your names on it. And we're like, yeah. Yeah, I never know what to say about that. I'm like, <laughs> what did the one pandemic say to the other oh pandemic? Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, the next right. necklace. So, so, I can understand why I bought this. I want nothing more than to touch this item. Yes, why don't you put it on? Yeah. It's our anniversary today, by the way. Oh. Five years married. And this is how we're celebrating. <coughs> Rosie, I don't feel like myself wearing this garment. I feel horrible, actually. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Okay, right. right. <laughs> Which one of these is your favourite? This one. Is that <laughs> yeah. Please wear that out today. Oh, no, we, we don't go out of the house we can't go out. We can't go out. Rose borrowed this, wore it on a night out, and remembered looking good. Hey, I thought it was a little kitsch fetch. No, that's a bad. Kitsch is a bad thing. Thing. Why don't I, I know think things? it's very American Eagle. When we discovered these in our garage, Rosie kept making jokes. Yes. But the same joke went up. <laughs> it killed me. She was like, oh, Rose, I've actually found this really <laughs> nice necklace. Every time I was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> they were all wrapped up. So I had the delight of unwrapping these bad boys. There's only one way you can really wear these, and that's by putting them in the bin, isn't it? I think layering is a good thing. Do you think layering? Can I just. <laughs> <laughs> If I put a metal detector near ah, you, it no, would, it would go off. Metal. I know. What are they made of? Crap. I don't even know. Crap, Rosie. Oh, Rosie, you bought these in seriousness? Yeah, I remember wearing this actually. Do you? Where did you wear it to? Fancy dress? A club. club. I thought it looked really good. Did you? Yeah, I did. I did actually. Good for you. So, Rosie, talk to me more about self isolation. How's it going? Um, this is what we're doing, guys, during self isolation. I hope you're having yeah. fun. This, we're just playing with my chunky neck. We're just, we're just playing fancy dress. Should we put on our wedding dresses and then cry because we don't fit into them? I didn't fit into it on the day. Neither did I. It made me sick. Oh yeah, and me. I had to take it off. It made me sick. So with self-isolation, I don't like people. Yeah, me neither. I hate people. Particularly my neighbours. Same. And I don't go out ever because I'm a YouTuber, so I just stay inside all day. So nothing's changed. Um, so on the one hand, nothing's changed, but now people have told me I can't go out. I'm angry about it. Angry. This necklace is really interesting because I think this, this looks really expensive. But is he gonna sell these on eBay? Oh my god! If I'm honest, I don't fully understand this one. I actually quite like it. Roella strikes again. Roella, she's back. So talking of fashion over the years, then mm. and during these like self isolation revelations, mm. it's easy to say. What do you think about my fashion sense over the years and how it's developed and adapted? And you know, you look the same. Still 24. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is this. Oh my god, you look so good. Who is it? Who is that? It's Jesus. <gasps> what does he have to say? I don't know yet. Hello? 
Oh, Jesus says, what did the one pandemic say to the other pandemic? What, Jesus? What did it say? Hello? There really isn't an ending to that joke. <laughs> right, Rosie, spill the quarantine. I was in bed last night and we were talking about this. Yeah. So basically, guys, in the UK, there is an influencer program, I think, anyway, to kind of like promote Harry Potter, Warner Brothers Studios. And basically every single year at Christmas, and then sometimes other times in the year, they have everyone around to eat Christmas dinner in the Great Hall of right. Harry Potter, like right. in the Great Hall. Right, it's really great. And every year they send out like press gifts to mm -hmm. sort of like hope, in, in hopes that the influencers will kind of like Instagram story or whatever. Yeah. And like everybody is invited. And it's not about size. It's so not. I've seen big YouTubers with like millions of subscribers go and I've seen YouTubers with like less than 100,000 go. A so real mix. Basically it's like every UK YouTuber goes. Except we've never ever, ever, ever in the last nine years been invited to the Harry Potter studio tour. Yeah. Even though we're avid fans and I'm a Slytherin and you're a Hufflepuff and we're right. very vocal about how much I'm we love massive fan the franchise also we're kind of cursed as well because rose has bought me tickets to see the harry potter studios twice and twice we've not been able to go one time it's kind of horrible my birthday was a couple of days after the manchester bombing right so we were like let's not go to any tourist because people yeah, were advised. we weren't sure no and i totally agree with that and that was really sad so that's fine yeah first time was like in 2012 we just didn't go we and i don't know go. why i think we couldn't get so there. i have spent about 200 pounds twice yeah, twice or whatever to go we think there might be someone that works in the press office who doesn't like us. Right, first of all, we said to our friends who got invited, oh, like, we never get invited, like, I don't know what the deal is. And they were like, oh, well, our friend is, like, uh, one of the influencer, like, marketing people. We'll just give you her email. You can just email her. It's obviously a mistake. So I emailed her, like, hey, I love Harry Potter. I would be honoured to go. I'll post about it. Like, yeah, well, obviously. Be, I've never been. It would be amazing if I could come and experience it. Can't wait. And she was like, sure, what day would you like to come? And I was like, any time. And then she just stops talking to me. And then we had a really horrible manager and I mentioned it to him and I was like, can you email them? He emailed them really badly. And I was it was bad. so bad. Because I thought he'd be like, hey, I've got some clients, like Rose and Rose, like they'd love to come and post about it. No, that's them. not how he handled no, no. it. He was like, why don't you let them come? And I was like, oh, okay, well now I was like, that's, not, that's not the way, is yeah, it? We this like, is the way. <laughs> can we please come to the... Rosie, do you think the person in the PR team looked at our necklaces and thought, no, because if anything, they look at my necklaces and think, that's very Harry Potter, right? Exactly. Someone get, it has to be personal. We really though. think it has that. And then to be. I was like, I even, guys, was like, huh, are they homophobic? But they're not. They're not. I'm not accusing them of that. Whip out because, that card whenever because you Because loads yeah. of gay people, bi people, pan people, all different people have gone. Rose is like, you know what, Rosie? Someone doesn't like you. And do you know what? I know it's me, not you. Really? Why do you think that? Well, I don't think it's you. Do you think it's you? No. People are offended by me and I don't know why. Don't you know why? I don't know why. Really? Do you not know? Do let me know if you've ever seen me wearing one of these on like a live stream. They're gonna, the they're gonna find pictures of you wearing them. So basically, it's totally personal. It has to be. It and has I to don't, be I don't, sorry. I don't think like that ever. Because we've actually emailed people like, please, sir, may we come? We've never, ever been put on never. the list. We've never ever. been invited. Didn't they get a huge, like, Yeah, they got chest, like a suit, uh, uh, like um, a suitcase. It was, it was Harry's like luggage case. And it was all personalized. Yeah. Yeah. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Have you guys been eating more than you usually would? Because that's what I've done, which is stupid, because really you should be rationing your food, but I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> if I finally, after this video, get a Harry Potter invite, I'm gonna be like, no. Well, you can't go anywhere, I think they're probably closed. Mm. You know, my sister rang me yesterday and she went, well, I've been working from home with my boyfriend, obviously, for three days. She was like, it's great that you and Rosie get along so well. Because... She was like, it's a testament to how well you two get along. I was like, Laura, three days, come on. Literally nine years. Nine years. Well, how five years we working it? from home. How have Is that we right? Done five it? years working from yeah. home. Yeah. It's easier for us though, because we do the same job. So like, we're obviously always talking about it. That would be in a way harder for some people, I think. <laughs> Happy five year anniversary. Happy five year anniversary. Can Take you that believe we're celebrating it? in style. Can I believe it? Um, no. It feels like five minutes, genuinely. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you soon because we'll be here and I imagine you'll just be there. In a times of crisis. In a times of crisis. Yeah, don't forget, you've always got a chunky necklace. Bye. Bye. <laughs>